That is bright. Hello photography fans and welcome back to another lens vid review. Today we're talking about lights. We've got the 150, the 100 and the 55 watt Fresnel lights by Came TV. Today we're taking a look at three focusable COB LEDs from Came TV. The Boltzmann F150S, Boltzmann B100W and Boltzmann Q55W Mark II lights. Since this is the first time that we're reviewing products by Came TV, it makes sense to say a few words about this company. Xiamen Came Technology was founded in the city of Xiamen in the south of China in 2012 and makes a huge range of lighting, camera support, batteries, rigs, and even some pretty unique products such as this huge Came accordion jib with its extending scissor arm. Boltson is the name of Came TV's main line of focusing LEDs with different offerings ranging from 30 watts to 150 watts in both single color and bicolor versions. This line also includes several accessories including remotes, Wi-Fi control units, V-mount plates and clamps, as well as optional hard carrying cases and Bowens mount rigs. Today we will be testing the most powerful light in this series to date, the bicolor 150 watt LED, together with the daylight version of the 100 watt light, as well as the second version of the company's 55 watt daylight LED. We got all three LEDs for testing with a lot of accessories. Some of these are sold separately, so make sure to check what exactly you're ordering with your light. In terms of build quality, all three seem to be made of a combination of metal and hard plastic and feel very robust. The 100 watt and the 150 watt are fairly similar in shape and size and weigh in at just over 4 kilos while the smaller 55 watt unit weighs in at just over 1 kilo since it has more plastic parts. The two larger units have an illuminated back screen which shows color temperature, power level and DMX channel. They also have two RJ45 connectors and two 5 pin DMX connectors, a male in and a female out. Controlling the lights is very simple. On the two larger lights you have a small on off button and two or three knobs depending on the version of the light for controlling power, color temperature and DMX address. The 55 watt version is a little different. It has a small screen, two clickable top knobs, on off button, a micro USB connector and a Wi-Fi button and status light. The right knob controls the brightness and the left knob controls the very simple menu which lets you change the different effects and channels. All three lights have a focusing option. The 150 watt and the 100 watt units feature a small plastic knob which changes the beam angle from 90 degrees all the way to 38 degrees, while the 55 watt version can change from a beam angle of 60 degrees flood all the way to 15 degrees spot by pulling out the front element using a rubberized grip. All three lights come with barn doors and the two larger units have a top load mount with dual slots for accessories such as filters or diffusers. The 55 watt has a proprietary threaded mount for barn doors with the option to put a diffuser or color filter inside. You can also get a Bowens adapter for each of these lights. The Bowens adapter for the 55 watt light works well. The one for the larger lights needed some tweaking to make it work and we would probably not use it with a very heavy softbox, although with mid-sized ones it should work just fine. The larger lights came with quite a few accessories including a really nice bag and a shoulder strap, safety cable, LAN cable, DTAP cable, power brick, barn doors and diffusers as well as a user manual. All three lights have a Wi-Fi option but only the 55 watt unit has Wi-Fi built in while the two larger lights use a Wi-Fi dongle. In our tests we could only connect to one light at a time and the app is kind of dated and somewhat limited. Came TV certainly has some work to do on the wireless control of these lights. On the plus side, when it comes to powering the lights, Game TV actually made it very simple. Each of these three lights came with a power brick for AC power, but all three can be powered via batteries. The 150 watt and the 100 watt versions come with a locking Nutrik power cable that leads to the power brick. Interestingly, the provided DTAP cable also features a Nutrik connector, so you can plug it in securely and run the light from a high power V mount or gold mount battery. Game TV also sent us a couple of small V-mount clamps which are very useful for holding the battery on the light stand. It would be nice if the power brick itself also had some V-mount holder of its own. The 55 watt light is even more versatile when it comes to power. You can choose to power the light with dual L-mount batteries or connect to a V-mount battery using a supplied cable. Very useful. 
There is more good news when it comes to the noise level. All three lights are dead silent and even though the 150 watt unit is said to have a fan, but we could not hear it even standing right next to it. This does mean that the lights get warm after prolonged use though, and this is especially true for the 55 watt version, so be careful when you operate it. We tested the lights using our highly capable Siconic C800 spectrometer, and we got the following results from one meter away. Using the two larger bolts and lights is as straightforward as can be. Turn the light on, set the power and temperature, and that's it. There are no complex settings or menus, just turn on and go. If you want more power and you're okay with daylight only, go for the 5600 Kelvin version since it is more powerful as we have seen from our tests. This is especially true if you're going to use the light with a softbox or some layers of diffusion. One thing that we learned after trying the barn doors is that there is no way to use them to really cut the light with these COBs. While you can restrict the spill using the barn doors, cutting the light to a thin sliver just doesn't work. And if you don't use one of the circular lens diffusers that come with the LED, cutting the light with the barn doors will result in some weird patterns. The 55 watt LED is very nice if you want to have a more concentrated spot and for its size, even with the wide beam, it is very powerful. We really like the DTAP power option. Just be really careful when you operate it since the front of the light can get very hot. As for battery power, using our Yin Chen high power, high capacity, 230 watt hour V-mount batteries, we were able to power all three lights without any loss in output. Using our old L-mount batteries with the 55 watt COB wasn't always consistent. At times, the light would turn off right away. Other users reported similar issues with the first generation of the 55 volt Boltson, so either use high capacity 7.4 volt NPF batteries, or better yet, a good quality V-mount. After working with the three Boltson COBs for a couple of months, we certainly learned to appreciate what Kane TV put into these lights. The two larger units are extremely rugged and very simple to operate. We love the option to power them via DTAP, and the fact that they're essentially silent is just a cherry on top. The 55 watt version might not be as robustly built as the other two, but it makes up for it with relatively high output for its size and the same silent operation as its big brothers. Just like with most other products on the market, there's almost always room for improvement. And in this case, we think that KMTV needs to completely rework the wireless control and app for these units. We would also like to see better thermal design for the 55 watt unit, and maybe most of all, a more powerful 300 watt or even 500 watt version. And in the spirit of the times, maybe even an RGB variant of the Boltson line. As for pricing, all three lights are pretty competitively priced for what they offer, as you can see here. Despite the differences on paper, it seems that there is relatively little difference between the 100 watt and the 150 watt models, and since both are genuinely silent, we are not exactly sure why Came TV even made two separate lights, especially as they have basically identical pricing. And that is it for our look at these Bolson Came TV Fresnel lights. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com, subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one. And that is it for our look at these bolts and came to me. Came to, came to me? They came to me, so they came to me.